<laughs> hey, hi, hello. Um, <laughs> I'm in a mood today. I'm like, <sighs> I'm really excited. I'm going out on a Halloween walk with a good friend of mine. And I'm really, really excited and it gives me a reason to wear makeup. Um, so I think because we're doing something spooky, we're going on a haunted walk, a tour, I'm going to do kind of like a, not like a spooky look, but I have my Biomelalops Radioactive palette here and I've never actually had the chance to wear it fully yet or even play around with the colors so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do an orange halo eye and I might do some waterliner stuff with this they have this really it's uh, it's actually UV activated so um, it glows. I don't know how well you can see it glowing, but yeah, I, the, the chance of me like being able to like really show off how UV it is, is like slim to none, whatever. Anyway, and I also have the, um, ink liners too. So the water ink liners. And yeah, I'm just really, I want to have some fun and do like a fun orange and black halo eye specifically for like Halloween-y types. Does anyone else say Halloween-y? I, I feel like that, that can't be just the thing that I say. It's got to, like there's got to be more people who say Halloween-y. It's not just me, right? Right? Anyway, I have my water here. For these water liners and everything else that I'm gonna need. I don't think any of my brushes are dry or clean, but I have my e.l.f. brush cleaner here. I have another one around here somewhere. I don't, I don't flip and know where it is. Oh, it's right here. It's almost empty. All right, you know the drill. Uh, once again, I've rambled on too long. So, you know how, you know what it is? Desk's a mess, so let's just hop into it. <laughs> okay, I've been trying to like figure out my mood all day and I don't know if I'm just like really tired or I just kind of want to like, I, I think I'm mostly conserving my energy for tonight. So let's just pop on some um, eye primer and find my concealer brush. All right. Sorry about that hiccup. I will try and have this video up before Halloween. <laughs> try being the operative word there, you guys. Like, don't. You can't even hold me up to it because you don't know I'm filming, which is great. It's not like it takes me long to edit my videos. I'm just being really fucking lazy lately, okay? Don't at me for that. You've all been lazy before, okay? But. When you when you're supposed to like make it a habit, sometimes you're just like <sighs> nervous about it. And like planning is also a big thing, right? Like I'm supposed to plan ahead what I'm doing. Like, no thank you. <laughs> okay, so I said we're gonna do a halo eye, so I think I should start with the black in the outer corners first. Um, 
the black in the radioactive palette is called Toxic. It's these one. Hold on, I think my camera's really dirty. Give me like two seconds. I don't know if it's my camera that's dirty or the mirror behind it. And I think it's the mirror behind it. Anyway, let's pop into this Toxic color. This has a mirror on it, so. I don't know how pigmented this is. So I'm just gonna pop it in the outer corner and just kind of lay it down and blend it in. Well, it seems like a nice enough black from what I can tell. I think maybe for that inner corner I always have a hard time like doing a halo eye and doing this part. <laughs> yeah, I just poke myself in the eyeball. Whoa, over it. Whoa. Um, does anyone else get nervous when they like, like it's such a tight squeeze in here that when I want to do a halo eye, it just doesn't seem to like really come out the way I want it to. So I'm just going to take my e.l.f. 202 it's just like a really detailed tiny brush and I'm gonna pardon me my brows being weird today all right so I'm just gonna use this tiny little brush because I always find when I do halo eyes this part gets um eyeshadow on it and I don't want eyeshadow there and then it always looks really messy and those are the vibes we're going for today I'm gonna pull This black over a little bit more and then we'll have a nice big space for this orange um I think in like maybe beam might be fun to make sense so I'm just gonna pull it out of the little case here and we'll work on the other side of the eye did i use both of these brushes hope not so let's pop on beam now Oh, this is like the perfect Halloween -y look. <laughs> okay, but I'm like, I'm really excited to use this infrared, not infrared, this ultra, this UV activated, not activated, this UV reacting. So it's all over my desk. I don't know why I sound so like monotone today. Look. Oh no. I was not expecting that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's. Oh, it's pigmented though. She pigmented. Oh, yeah. No. All right. Let's get this off my finger. Let's try and like do a more controlled. And 
one. Let's just take like a fluffy brush and sort of blend it. I kind of really dig it. I'm into it. Okay. What do you think? Do I look nice and spooky? I don't think it looks very even, but I don't know. Let's try this light, this color here. It's kind of a shimmery. Well, it's mixed with the beam there. Um, let's see if doing this will like, oh my goodness. Can you see that? Oh, this is kind of embarrassing because you can see how patchy it is. Ooh. I'm so sorry about that. Um, I'll put like a little warning before I do it when I edit. <sighs> okay, so that's the eyeballs. Let's move on to skin. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do like prep. I didn't prep my skin. I mean, I have moisturizer on from like earlier today. That's not enough. I don't want to just put moisturizer on and just say that's it. No, that's a bad plan. Whatever. You know what it is. Um, I'm going to do more of the neutral foundation today. But once again, I'm mixing it with this. I'm doing, I'm not putting a whole bunch. I'm just doing kind of more of a tinted moisturizer kind of vibe. Cause it's kind of chilly out there. By out there, I mean like in um, Edmonton here. So I'm just gonna Put it all over my face and normally I don't put my foundation on this way but I'm just not really worried about it today because all the stuff that I'm going to be doing is this after like this evening so if this comes off then this comes off right well that ended up not doing anything Dang it. I think it's still a little bit too light. I thought I could get away with it. I was wrong. All right. So let's just start from the center of the face and just push it out. I don't have very many spots that I need to cover anyway. Out from <laughs> All right, so there's that. What should I do for eyeliner? This has like a really nice vibrant orange color, so I think I'll do that. Um. I would use my NYX ones, but they're so like, they're too dry. I don't think they would mess up this look. But first of all, let's do some brows. So this is the Cheekbone Perfect Brow in brown. I'm just gonna comb it through. I really just kind of like, because I'll be wearing my mask. And kind of just want to like really emphasize my brows today and my eyes. So what I'm doing to make it like really, really thick is just 
kind of getting the product right in there. And there we go. Not much cleanup because they look nice and thick, which is what I was going for. Um, I'm going to try this Quo um, blush again. And I'm going to kind of blend it in with my sponge. I like how subtle this is. I wonder if I got a darker one, what, what that would look like. All right. This highlight. I'm going to go with cheek dust today. Just for like that subtle peachy, well, pink and gold glow. Okay, so now I'm going to, because this is water activated, what I do is wet my little liner brush. And just sort of create a little paste. Okay, so now All right, but now I'm seeing that like this is starting to fade, which is a shame. To be fair, I didn't do a very good job of applying it. Okay, we'll work with that for now. And I'm gonna work on the other eye. So I will. Be right back. Okay, so let's do some lashes. What kind of lipstick should I wear just for like sitting around? Because <laughs> I'm not going out until like seven o'clock tonight. No, wait. I don't have any like black lipstick. Oh, wait. That's a lie, my friends. I have like black sparkly lipstick. This is from the Macalia collection. I think I can get away with this for like a couple hours. All right. I feel like I can probably go harder on the blush, seeing as like, um, everything else is a little harsh. Is that like weird? I'm going to add a little bit more pink. This is a Makeup Forever 
but I'm only going to do it up here. And then I think I can add a little bit more contour. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my blush brush and my cheekbone beauty and grab some contour and just add it underneath there. And I'm just gonna pop back into this beam color. Just to try and like beef up this orange. Actually, I think, I think this look is fine. I'm probably not gonna wear this lipstick because it's gonna get all over my mask and well, that's no fun. Anyway, here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this was definitely a lot of fun for me. Um, I've always wanted to do this kind of halo-y orange look when I never actually, you know, did it. So I'm excited to do it now. Anyway, have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.